Hi, my name is Michael Tunnell, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install a GNOME extension from a zip archive. Like this one. GNOME extensions are packaged in zip archive file format for easy distribution, but the process to install them is not immediately obvious. In a moment I'm going to show you how it's done, but first I wanted to address a potential question that you may have, and that question being, where the hell did you even get that zip file? I downloaded the zip file from the extensions.gnome.org website. I realize that answer may lead you to ask another question, which would be, What? I thought that website didn't offer any way to download the extensions. This is where it gets weird. The extensions.gnome.org website, or as I like to call it, Ego the Living Website. I know not a lot of people are going to get that joke, but for any Marvel comic fans out there, let me know what you think in the comments below, and maybe rate it on a scale of 1 to 1 above all. <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm done with the nerdy comic puns. Anyway, the Ego website does actually offer the option of downloading zip files for the extensions but it doesn't tell you that anywhere and it doesn't even imply that it's possible so any confusion you might have is completely understandable and expected I found out that it was possible during multiple conversations with some GNOME developers and they couldn't give me an answer as to why it's not ever presented to users so if you look around the page for this extension quick close and overview you won't find a download button anywhere nor any indication at all that it's a possibility. Unfortunately I can't show you how to get them in this video because it's a bit out of scope for this tutorial and that's because it requires viewing the source of each extension page to get UUIDs and check for the GNOME shell version compatibility. Yeah. However, I'm actually working on a solution to simplify the process. The solution I'm building will remove the headache of getting the zip files in the current source probing form by providing simple download buttons, like the website should already have. Before we continue, here's a quick demo of what my solution does. This is what it looks like with the, my solution turned off, and this is what it looks like with it turned on. As you can see, there are now an is a nice list of download buttons for five of the latest GNOME versions. In the next video, I'll go into detail as to what all my solution does and how to get it, of course. But for now, let's finally get to the tutorial. So with an extension zip file in our possession, it's time to install it. The first thing we need to do is launch the GNOME tweak tool. This can be done in a variety of ways, but I'm going to use the default GNOME method of using the overview search. Just go into the overview by hitting the super key and type in a few letters of the app that you want to launch. So, for example, TWE, enter, tweak tool. Choose the extensions option on the left sidebar. Depending on your distro, you may or may not have pre-installed ex extensions like this. If you do, then scroll down the list to the bottom. Here you'll find the Install Shell Extension option. Click the None button, which is actually a poorly labeled Browse button. Select the extension that you want to install and click the Open button. You'll see a notification pop up informing you that you need to restart your session to activate the extension. This notification has a button right here to restart from the notification, but I'd advise against that because some distros make that button log you out instead of restarting the GNOME shell. And all you really need to do is just restart the GNOME shell. I'm now going to close the tweak tool because of a limitation it has of not updating the extensions list 
without closing the app first. Next, press Alt F2 on your keyboard. This will uh, open or open the GNOME command prompt. Type only the letter R in the prompt and press enter. This will restart the GNOME shell. Open the GNOME tweak tool again and go back to the extensions list. Find the extension you just installed and toggle it on. That's pretty much it. But since we're here, here's a quick demo of the extension I just installed. Here's with it turned off. Middle click. Does nothing, just brings it back. With it turned on, middle click, and it's gone. Thanks for watching my video on how to install GNOME extensions via a zip file. I hope you found this video helpful, and uh, if so, please like and subscribe and share the video with others. And also be sure to check out my next video where I launched the Ego Download Solution right here. Again, my name is Michael Tunnell, and thanks for watching.